Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I am going to show you how to find out what is taking up all of that space on your hard drive. Um, this will actually show you what's taken up on space on your primary drive, any uh, additional internal drives, external drives, flash drives, uh, you name it. Um, I've only got my file explorer open here just to kind of simulate uh, an issue. I obviously have plenty of disk space on my drives here. Um, so it's not an issue, but the simulation is to where if you ever open this up or you're trying to move data and it pops up and says you don't have enough space on such and such drive, uh, you would come here to your file explorer and you would probably see one of these drives in the red indicating there's not much space left. So how do we find out what is taking up space on that drive? Um, it's pretty easy to do actually. One of the first things that we can do is go down here to your search and we're going to type in system. Once you find system, let's open that up. We're going to go right here to storage. And as you can see, it's kind of calculating here. And by default, it goes to my C drive, my primary operating system drive. And again, I don't have a disk storage space, obviously. Um, but again, this will just kind of show you how this works. Um, so right away, since this is my primary storage drive, it's shown me that I've got about... 59 and a half gig dedicated to apps and features, which basically just means programs, 18.6 uh, to music, 16.4 uh, to pictures, and so on. Um, so that will kind of tell you, so like if you have one of your disk drives full and you pop in here and pictures is at the top and it is maxed out, well, you've got too many pictures. Um, then you might want to move them to an external drive or just another type of uh, storage source. Um, if you wanted to look at, like I said, this defaults to C, your primary. If you want to look at a, another drive, just scroll down a little bit here and you can click this view storage usage on other drives. And for me, I've got a total of three, my primary, and then these are actually two backup drives. Um, my, this one is backup for primary and this one is actually backup for that. So I have redundant backups. But let's say you have a problem on your local disk D. So let's just click on that and it will do the same thing. It will quickly calculate and tell you what is taking space on this disk drive. So as you can see, 2.26 terabytes uh, here of videos is taken up and gives you, a, excuse me, other apps and features and uh, so on. Um, so easy way to find out what is taking up some space and to clear that out on either your primary drive or any secondary drives. Now, another way to do this is by a third party piece of software uh, called WizTree. Now, WizTree is free um, if just for personal use. Um, if you're a company and need like right here from 100 or from one to 100 staff members, um, there's different options for that. But average everyday user, if you're just trying to see what is taking up space, just go ahead and download the free version here, download the installer, or they also have a portable. So I'm gonna minimize this because I have mine installed and it is right here. So let's go ahead and open this up. So once we open this up, um, you will be right here able to select which drive, kind of the same as we did last time, C, D, and E, but just a little bit of different way. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to scan my primary drive. Um, and again, it's really quick. It goes through uh, really quick and picks up everything that you need to see. So right off the bat with this, um, we see right here, got 35.7% taken up by the user's file. And what that means is basically just my file where all of my data is stored all of my documents, music, pictures, et cetera, et cetera, sound files. So we can see that that takes up the most storage on my primary drive. Um, and then, you know, you got Windows here, um, just your regular C drive this is gonna be where applications are under program files, program files x86 and stuff like that. So you can just see right off the bat, that's where the data is being stored on my primary drive. They got a really cool little uh, chart down here too, and you can actually take a look. Like it'll show you music. 
And that does fall under this user's drive and under my name or profile name. So the thing that's taken up the most in my system, it looks like, is actually music. Um, and then um, I got an iTunes library, which is under music as well. And over here, if you look, uh, you got your pictures. And if you just hover over, it will show you exactly what amount of space is being taken up by these. Uh, if we move over here, it's videos and so on and so forth. And if we take a look at this, kind of like I showed you just under system and storage, we can just go ahead and switch the drive here too. So let's scan the D. And as you can see, it will kind of do the same thing here. So half of my drive just about is taken up by TV shows and movies. And then the rest is data. Like I've got my YouTube video stuff on there. Um, I've got backup of my system here. As we go down, it's just smaller and smaller. So anyway, yeah, guys, that is it. Check out this chart down here. Um, it's basically the same thing. So that is it, guys. I just kind of wanted to show you how to check what is taking up all of your disk space on one or more of your drives. And I just wanted to give you a couple ways to do that. Anyway, guys, if this was helpful you, to you, give a thumbs up if you would, and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.